This is breaking news. American musician Charlie Lowry set for show at Weiss Center. According to a press release, the Weiss Center for the Performing Arts at Bucknell University will welcome American singer slash songwriter Charlie Lowry at 7:30 p.m. on October 17. There will be a pre-performance talk with the artist from 6:45 7:15 p.m. in the Weiss Center atrium. Lowry, a musical powerhouse from Pembroke, N.C., is proud to be an indigenous woman belonging to the Lumbee slash Tuscarora tribes, the press release said. She is passionate about raising awareness around issues that plague underdeveloped and underserved communities. Since her teenage years, Lowry has established a career as a professional singer-songwriter with a unique passion and voice. In addition to performing solo, for 10 plus years, she has been the front woman for the award-winning band, Dark Water Rising. Most recently, Lowry and the members of her newest project, Charlie and the Sunshine, were selected by the US Department of State and American Music Abroad to participate in the 2021-22 American Music Abroad virtual season. Among her community, women are traditionally barred from the hand drum and relegated to singing behind the men's drum and slash or dancing instead. Lowry defies that norm, following in the footsteps of her mentor, an artist and heir to the Tuscarora Indian nation Pura Fay, said the press release. Lowry chooses to baffle with her songs, hand drum, and guitar to deliver performances that not only tell the plight of her people, but all humans who face oppression. Robeson County, her home, is one of the most diverse counties in the U.S., and Lowry celebrates that diversity in all aspects of her life. While she may be familiar to some from her success as a semi-finalist on American Idol, she has maintained close ties to her Native American roots and culture. It is important to her to express the struggle, sacrifice, and obstacles her people have overcome throughout history. She serves as a voice for her ancestors, as well as the youth of today, and remains committed to music that honors her roots and that lives vibrantly in the here and now, the press release said.